What's everyone, Ryfex here. Today I'm going to show you how to have multiple instances or multiple windows of OBS running. Um, what this is used for is, say if you want to have high quality settings for your lo local recordings to post on YouTube or whatever afterwards, and then you want to ha have to uh, want to be able to stream at a low bit rate because, well, Twitch ha uh, requires that you have a low bit rate to stream. Um, so yeah, this is what it's gonna do. Um, it's gonna separate them uh, in their own uh, little windows. Um, so you have the best of both worlds going on. Um, so what you want to do is go to File Explorer or My Computer or whatever, and then go to the local disk wherever uh, your OBS is saved. Um, then you either want to go to Program Files for your 64-bit OBS, if that's what uh, OBS you want to use. And then if you have 32-bit OBS, go to Program Files x86. Um, I'm going to be using 64-bit. Uh, uh, this will be pretty much the same process even if you go to x86 or 32-bit. So just find OBS folder, then OBS.exe. And then what you want to do is right-click, then copy, then um, go to your desktop, and then uh, click paste shortcut and then now you'll have the the shortcut there I already have the shortcut so I'll just delete it and then we'll exit out of that and now I have my shortcut here Let's just pretend that was always there that wasn't there before I mean so go to properties which is right click and properties um, now go to target not not the store but um, now you see right here it says a minus multi uh, what's this gonna tell it to do is hey uh, I'm gonna have multiple windows of OBS that's what it's gonna tell it to do so have it minus multi then click apply apply then OK and then now I'm gonna click OBS click it again and then look at that you have two uh, windows of OBS well actually I have three here <laughs> so yeah so now I'm gonna have this set up for profile this one set up for YouTube profile or local recordings and then I'm going to have this one set up for Twitch. And then scenes for Twitch. Now you um, want to have your scenes all ready. So I have my multiple instances of OBS here. One for high quality settings, then one for low quality settings. Or streaming um, you could see uh, the settings that I have for each of these on separate videos uh, on my YouTube channel uh, I'm using the exact same settings that you saw from uh, those videos so yeah um, I'll show you how to get this to work properly um, it's just quick uh, preview stream for your on your high quality settings um and um have it running whatever uh your game capture is so when you have multiple windows like this uh you can't pull uh the same most of the time you can't pull from the same uh game capture card uh in multiple windows so uh like for me i cannot uh pull the same thing because what happens is, turn the webcam off, uh, if I preview stream, this is what I get. It's the same scenes and everything that you see down here. And, yeah. 
uh, it's just blank it's just red um, so in order to uh, get what we see here um, what we have to do is go to projector and then uh, you have to have the second monitor for this um, so you could you could use the same monitor I suppose uh, I think there's tutorial on how to create a fake monitor and yeah or you could have um, have it in window capture which uh, which it doesn't work for me for whatever reason um, I had it working for an, another capture card that I was using but then for this one it, it doesn't seem to work for some reason so um, so you want to have it set up the second monitor um, so I'll go to my twitch uh, settings and for right here uh, go to your sources and right click then add then you want to add game capture or you want to add window capture um, you could do monitor capture as well but that uses uh, a lot of CPU usage and it might cause your frame uh, per second to uh, dip as well as your bit rate it might use too much uh, processing power so it may not be a good idea to use monitor capture uh, so I would suggest going for window capture or game capture um, so when I go to game capture tell me to enter name um, and then it'll say select app application uh, I wanted to pull the OBS project window and which I showed you here pro projector then monitor 2 and you could pick from multiple uh, places if you want to um, so yeah and then that is pretty much it for for that and then I'll show you how to do uh, window capture window capture is pretty much the same thing and then you want to have the window open the OBS projector window so um, so I suggest using that and then you might have to use a sub uh, region and then uh, resize it and stuff you might have to do that or you could just use inner window or uh, entire window for that so I already have my game capture set up and then all I have to do is preview stream and then well look at that I have both seen the exact same uh, window pretty much and um, and that's pretty much it uh, now all you have to do is pretty much stop preview for both of them start recording on your lo local recording and then for this one start streaming and you're good to go um, so and that's how to have multiple instances of OBS running um, so you can have 1080p 60 frames per second local recording getting ready for YouTube uploading and and then you could have uh, twitch streaming uh, for your audience which yeah you could have the best of both worlds here um, which uh, these my twitch settings are 720p uh, 30 frames per second at like a 2000 bit rate and then um, my YouTube is 1080p 60 frames so yeah uh, significant significant difference there so I I hope this helped you out a lot of people don't know this is possible um, but it is <laughs> I'm showing it right here and it, it looks amazing um, I as far as getting uh, 60 frames per second running 
I had to uh, use this on my uh, capture card because I'm um, using 60 frames per second here and then 30 frames here. I have it pretty much split. This one, the setting is set for my AMD graphics card. And then this one I have set uh, for CPU usage. So yeah, I had to kind of split the, the settings up so this will run flawlessly. So it may not, depending on your CPU, it may or may not, uh, you may have to set your settings uh, down a little bit just to get this to work. But if you have a graphics card, uh, you could really take advantage of this and make it look incredible. Um, this is what I'm doing and I'm very happy with it. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, this took me a very long time uh, to get these settings and everything, all the videos that you see me posting on, on OBS and stuff. Uh, it took me quite a while to get it to where I wanted it to be. And I'm very happy with it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed that video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You have five seconds to comply. Four, three, two, one.